Hey guys, Rylan Russell here. Welcome back to the Sunday vlog number 10. Can you believe it? Number 10. And today, this is not a clickbait title. We're going to talk about something that I got caught in. And uh, right now, let's just get inside, get things fired up, and hopefully everything will just go smooth. So, cross your fingers. Here we go. Yesterday, bro. Uh oh. First time ever. <laughs> Let's do this. Woo! <laughs> are you our official goose poop cleaner? I are. <laughs> we need you. There's a lot of goose poop out there today. Oh, yeah, we, we took care of the most of it. Oh. It's me, David, and Rylan. Yes. Me, David, and Rylan. Yes. And this <laughs> album has a history. <laughs> Kevin hides this in everybody's offices until they find it, and then it gets passed along. And I threw it in the trash, and David pulled you it out this morning. You threw it in the trash? Well, I'll no, tell you what, no. One of my favorite songs is Hell's Bells. <laughs> and, uh, I really enjoyed that song. I don't. Are we singing a gay through this morning? I don't think we can so. be. We can be. Maybe. He Maybe next me. week. Let's see. Wait. Let's see what's on here. He touched me. It, oh, Riley! Is it right there? Number where? one. Look at he, that. He, he touched, touched me. me. Oh, he, King is coming. Now, come on, Rylan. All right, so yeah, it's already been a day. Let's see. Pro presenter would not work at all. Wouldn't respond. Finally had to bring myself to do the update on a Sunday morning, which is never a fun feeling. And then it wouldn't work even worse, but realized Companion wasn't working. So I went to Companion's you know, GitHub and realized they had an update. So I updated Companion to get our little Stream Deck working that we only use the Stream Deck because Pro presenter won't allow you to clear everything without clearing the hallway feeds as well. It's just like this big mess Sunday morning. Then our audio wouldn't work. <laughs> Went into our system settings in our Mac and realized that it was all the way panned left, which is our click side. But I think everything <laughs> is good to go now. So, you know, you always run into issues and you just gotta make sure that you have enough time. So we've still got, you know, 45 minutes till service starts. I've been here since about 5.30 this morning. And, you know, that's just Sunday mornings for you. I sing for, I cannot be silent. His love is the theme of my song. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed how I love to proclaim it. His child and forever I am. All right, 815 service. Everything went good. Now to the point of this video. I got caught up in something. It's not healthy. And I've learned some ways to overcome it, but man, I think a lot of my fellow worship guys probably deal with the same thing, and that is the comparison trap. How many of you, if you're like me, on your way to church when you're driving, you pass so many other great churches, churches that are two, three, four times your size, churches with bigger budgets, churches with better technology, I mean, better worship pastors, honestly, probably, and I pass them right on my way to work. And it's so easy to just like compare yourself to them and what they're doing and think, like even for me doing these videos that I've been doing on my channel and thinking like, really not that big a church, like I really don't have it all together. And I go to these other churches of my buddies and realize like, man, they have got so much going on. Like, should I even really be trying to share this stuff with people? Um, is it kind of out of my league? And then I have to like check myself and realize like, just be you, just do you, right? And it's not just comparing yourself to these bigger churches and kind of feeling bad about yourself. It can go the other way as well. And neither of them are healthy, right? Like one causes discontentment and the other causes pride and neither of them are a good thing for us as we're trying to live a Christian life. And so I just want to ask you, like, is that something you're trying to overcome, this comparison thing? I don't have all the answers, but I've got a couple things that I've been doing that try to help me overcome this battle. So I'll talk to you about that a little more. Got to get ready for second service. This is one of my best buds, Anthony Castleberry. Hey, what's up? Anthony's playing drums. And we've played together for a long time, huh? Since I was like 15. <laughs> yeah. All right, Anthony, what's your favorite worship song to play drums on? Like, what do you think has the best feel? 
Holy Ground is pretty fun. You like Holy Ground? All yeah. right. I've actually played it a lot. It gets, it gets into it. Cut to Holy Ground on him going off. Central family. We are so happy that you decided to join us on the stream today. My name is Mindy Russell and I am thrilled that you're here on this lovely May Day. And this is my uh, co-host in life, in ministry. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Co-host in life. Yes. That's what I feel like. My name is Ryland Russell. I'm the worship and media arts pastor here. Alex is going to come to you whenever uh, he starts playing. Should be playing. Okay, you're on. Good angle. JC, I'm gonna come to you next. That's a good angle. And you're like. Alright, you're off. See the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then suits my soul, my Savior God to me. How great Thou art! How great Thou art! So let our lives declare the love our God has spoken. Forty-five service done and I want to just wrap up this vlog with some thoughts about this whole you know comparison trap thing and things that I've tried to do to help me overcome like this weird thing that we have about like in ministry there's like this weird competition thing I feel like it'd be more like this than this I guess huh and it's almost like I get the feeling from some guys like they don't even want to support or like people's posts or anything like that even because that might like elevate their ministry above ours. And what I've had to like realize is that that's just not healthy, right? And so here's two things that you can do to help yourself with this comparison trap. Number one is celebrate the success of others. And I don't know why that's so hard for some of us, but like if I see one of my buddies that's posted a video of his team leading worship, like, man, I, I wanna celebrate that God's using them that way. And uh, man, I'll like that post. Um, I'll text somebody and say, I love what you guys are doing over there at so-and-so church. 
But celebrating what God is doing in somebody else's church has freed me up to not feel this like comparison thing as much. For instance, we have a Life Church right around the corner from us, which is a satellite campus of the main campus, Life Church, Life Church. And at times I've gotten this like weird feeling from other churches that like Life Church, because they do things a little different, like, are they really making disciples? You know, how are they discipling people? And instead of judging like what God is doing in this church that is running 2,500 people on a Sunday, just here in Owasso, being a satellite campus, and not to mention the millions of people that they're reaching around the world, instead of judging them, like, why can't we celebrate that God's using them and doing awesome things? It's because we have this root of jealousy, and that root of jealousy is what Proverbs say is a cancer to the bones. And so, like, I just know I can't have that inside of me. We're just up the highway from Transformation Church, which is like the fastest growing church in America. And I'm going to get this number wrong, but I think they, they said on their Instagram stories that they had over 100,000 people saved or something last year being online only. And I'll hear these jaded Christians be like, yeah, but really, I mean, really, are they saved? And I'm like, bro, we baptized 30 last year. Like, let's celebrate what God is doing. You know, just because like the parable of the talents, I heard Andy Stanley talking about this where, you know, God entrusts different things to different people, it doesn't matter if you get 50, if you get 30, or if you get 10, like it's what you do with what God has entrusted you with. So like, I wanna do the best that I can here at my ministry as Central while God has me here. And that's what he's entrusted me with. And some guys will like try to almost blame their circumstances on why they can't achieve something for God. You know, oh, well, if I only had that tech or if I only had that team or if I had that building or that pastor, there's always something to blame it on. And like, we just have to celebrate the success of others. Okay, and the second thing that I've tried to do is build relationships with other church leaders outside of my circle, right? So just this last week, I had coffee with all the worship guys in Owasso. Um, I went over and did this Tulsa Creatives thing at Church of Battle Creek, which is an amazing church. And you just realize like they're really doing the same thing you're doing, just maybe on a different scale or in a different setting. But we're all in this together, right? As long as they're Bible believing, you know, Jesus is the way Christians, I wanna support them. And so doing those two things, celebrating the success of others and just building relationships with people has helped me kind of get over that comparison trap. And let's be real, I'm not over it. I'm not great at it, but I am trying to do the best with what God has entrusted me with, because that's all I can control, right? So today was a great day at our church, um, and the band played awesome. It was so great to play with some guys like Anthony that I haven't played with in a long time. It was just a sweet spirit in our church, and so vlog number 10 has been fun. I hope that it, you get something out of it, and if you are enjoying these kind of vlog style videos, would you just hit the like button, wherever that's at, over there somewhere. <laughs> and I know most of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so I'd love to get over a thousand subscribers so I could start having a community tab and all those kinds of things. So I could stay in touch with you guys and answer questions easier, but that's it for vlog 10. We'll see you in the next one.